Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to a daily video. Now, I want to spend some time on this video um, talking a little bit about my own progression. I, I feel like I haven't really shared a lot about, you know, what I'm doing currently in a while. Because I think yesterday I basically only covered the update and some, um, like, guide videos and stuff like that. I kind of wanted to show you guys what I've, what I've been working on. Now... I haven't really done anything in like three weeks or so. I've mainly just been grinding dragon sigils and farming dragons for a long time. Now I kind of want to take you guys through the whole logic or the whole process of me doing this. Now keep in mind, I think I'm pretty well progressed. Like I'm pretty much in the late game right now. I am able to make it to Heroes 1 every single week on Astromon League. Um, I'm I'm actually pretty shitty on, on doing doing titans like I compared to a lot of like the top top players in the game um, I I'm not really progressed in titans I didn't really work too hard on this and you know I I really don't think I can really do m too much all although although I probably should like I can raise some monsters like you know raise the Shelly's raise all that um, but I really don't want to spend gold and stuff on that like too much gold and stuff on that um, mainly just wanna like I don't want to raise any monsters that are gonna be I'm gonna be temporarily using for Titans I kinda just want to raise the monsters that are like you know permanently good for Titans and I'm just gonna use them for until the end of time or some some shit like that um, so it kinda like I'm not I'm I'm kinda of holding off on like raising monsters like uh, you know water lumo and stuff for the attack buff I think that like you know in the future if I have like water curas maybe that would be slightly better um, and and stuff like that just like little things like that I, I kind of don't really feel like doing that but it might be a mistake because it means that I won't be able to get as much points which means I'm st I might be losing on astrogems like every single week I can actually invest in this and then work on d getting dragon gems later but I think if I get better dragon gems now, I will be able to farm a little bit faster. Like, I will be able to maybe farm B10, like Golden's B10 a little bit faster. Or also farm, uh, you know, my, the dream is to farm Star Sanctuary. Well, not Star Sanctuary. Um, Slumbering City, like, really, really fast. Um, so I think I'm going to try to get my, you know, dragon sigil count as high as possible, like, every single week. And just farm dragons like mad. Um, I think that's my, <laughs> that's my main thing that I'm doing right now and yeah I've, I've, I think I've been working pretty hard now I currently am at I think it's Thursday right now I currently have 84 dragon sigils and this is mainly due to me not farming slumbering city this week I basically went to star sanctuary and I basically farmed that full time like I just been farming star sanctuary non-stop and it's gotten me a lot more sigils because I'm able to clear Star Sanctuary a lot faster than Slumbering City. Now, there is a little bit of a problem with this because I've noticed, um, I didn't do any any math at all, but I've noticed that every single time that I do Star Sanctuary and then re-slime re, like, the gold back into Astro Gems, I'm actually losing a little bit of Astro Gems every single time. So I'm actually getting a, a slight negative profit every single time that I do the conversion on Star, Star Sanctuary. Now, I'm... Which means that I'm not able to get any sort of resource gain um, in terms of gold or astro gems while I'm, while I'm farming on Star, Star Sanctuary. As well as um, I'm not able to, like, wait, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm not able to really do anything. Like, I, I, I don't get, like, I can't use the gold to upgrade gems. I'm not getting any gem upgrades because I'm not farming golems, and I can't get more astro gems because I'm not doing anything that gives me a positive gain in astro gems. But I think it's worth it for me temporarily, as long as I have enough astro gems to do Heroes Festival. Um, maybe later later in the week I can go and do go back to Slumbering City and farm, um, you know, next week before Heroes Festival and try to get my astro gem count up to like maybe 6,000. I think 6,000 is pretty safe because if, if I'm if i at 6,000 it means that um, I'll be doing 10 pulls and I think within 10 pulls I probably should get a nat 5. If not then I can just go to BA and slime like mad and get you know do another pull and if I don't get anything in 11 pulls then I'm, I'm pretty much fucked so um, yeah that, that would be too bad. So I kind of want to show you guys this this thing I've been building um, or I built it was it's like a temporary team for 
star sanctuary farming and I can do this like consistently really really fast I use two morale boosters plus um, these two are on siphon so the reason why I I am able to get my dark Indra on siphon is because I actually ungen my snowy and took the attack gems and put it on my Indra now the reason why I wanted to do this is because star sanctuary has two light and two dark so if with my light Victoria on siphon I can basically take care of the dark units and with him on siphon he can take care of the light units so um, you know, basically they're both going to be nuking, and as they, as they nuke, everything's going to die. So it's going to be really, really um, consistent, really reliable. It also helps that I have like two, one one extra light, one extra dark here as well. Um, I can actually show their gems really, really fast. Like she is, I, I really don't have like a full set that I can use on on them. Um, she's on like double defense, but this one's like a filler gem with just like you know flat defense, and it's kind of like my my Indra's kind of in the same boat as well it's like it, he has two like like I think these two are really good attack gems um, you know this one has like you know crit rate as well and then this one is just another random flat filler gem it went to resist like 23% resist on a on, on this gem it's kind of a little bit sad actually it might be usable you know I could actually use this on like a a full tank monster but I don't want to build him full tank because he needs to do a little bit of damage but his that his base attack is too low for me to put like an attack gem this could be usable, maybe, I'm not too sure. Um, and then these two are like my, I think I've shown my Cura gems before a lot in my PvP videos. She's basically on Pugilist, but I have her on double attack. I actually max out her gems, finally. And this one's like on, on a defense. I didn't max this one out, but it doesn't really matter. Um, she has pretty high attack. The reason why I put her on attack is because she's the highest... Um, she has the highest attack out of all the healers in the game. She has like 2,500 base, which is actually pretty high. And the succubus, I also put her on full attack because I don't need her to do damage. Or well, I don't need her to tank at all. So it's basically Ruin with uh, two attack gems. I decided to use Ruin because her base attack is also very low. So the crit rate plus crit damage can actually help a little bit more than just you know straight out stacking attack. So yeah, this is just a little little side, like, um, just for a fun thing, because I actually got really bored of using my Snowy. Just a little fun thing that I, I've been working on on the side. Well, it, it actually really isn't the side, it's actually the main thing I've been doing, because it's it's what I do, like, 90% of the time, it's just Farm Star Sanctuary, non-stop. That was that was kind of a bad run. Like it, they wasted an extra attack because like one unit didn't die. But usually, like it's always under fifty seconds, so it's not it's, it's not bad. As long as they get their bars up, um, everything's fine. It's just sad that my Mona doesn't have a square, so I can't put the the slots on her. I also don't have a square siphon gem, so that doesn't really work. Ooh, I got two sigils just like that. Alright, that was that was pretty awesome. I gotta admit. So yeah, that's that's just something I've been working on. Now, in terms of like my next big thing that I wanna do, um I wanna build a gin. I wanna build a fire gin. And that's actually gonna take quite a few weeks to do. It's probably gonna take a month or so of well more than a month, maybe like a month and a half of just straight out farming Dragons V10 in order to get the gins. I do have this like nice variant fire gin. He actually has some pretty good slots. He has double square diamond. Um, and I think fire gins are really really nice because the gins actually have pretty high base attack for for a four star monster. It's like one of the higher base attack out of all the all the four star monsters in the game. Um, 3200 is actually pretty high. And he also has this morale boost and, and predator. His morale boost is, is like the old SP siphon, which basically, you know, it's like it's like having siphon gem on him. Um, but if I put him on siphon gem with this, like it also stacks, so he can basically get his bar full like just in one attack every single turn. And he doesn't require any sort of like crit or anything special. Basically, I gem him with three attack or three slot attack. Um, he always gets his bar full, and then he has Predator, which is like 40% extra increase. It doesn't even need to crit as well. So he can basically attack, get his bar full, and then every single time that he's doing his AoE, like there's a 
very high chance that, depending on the enemy, um, but most of the time he probably should always get his bar full as well because of how much ac actual damage that he is doing. So it should be pretty nice, like if I can just get him on um, on some nice attack gems. And I do have like a pretty good siphon set I can use on him. I just need like another square attack. And then I can basically use the one, the, the set that I have right now on him. And then he can basically be my main farmer because I can use him for like B10, most of the elemental dungeons. Just anything besides um, water I can use him on. So sh it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too bad. And... Yeah, that's just one of the things I really wanted wanted to work on. Um, the other thing is I really want to fire Siegfried. Now I do have a water one already, and I think I think by the time I summon like four Siegfrieds, I should at least have one fire so I can like evil three, one of them. Um, I think Siegfrieds are also like the next. Well, they're probably the best thing for farming because they have morale boost plus elemental edge, which means that even on water stages they can still farm it because of the elemental edge. Um, the morale, bo morale boost also helps with him getting his bar full every single turn because the he doesn't all, he, like the good thing about their morale boost is it doesn't require any sort of crit like you don't need anything special basically you attack do enough damage you get your bar full it's just that simple um, and so he can be morale boosting plus you know you know getting his elemental edge and then since like elemental edge he's gonna be doing so much damage that he's always gonna get his SP bar full anyways. Um, because of his like b really high base attack plus the elemental edge, he should be able to do quite a lot of damage. So I'm I'm kind of uh, like he's probably the next thing I I really really want as well, um, which means I I will need to focus a little bit on, on clan battles. But even if I increase my like damage right now, I really can't I really can't increase the amount of um, metals I I get unless I like I our whole entire guild like progresses and stuff like that. Um, there's another thing I could do, like I could actually quit my guild and join a really competitive one. But I don't think I can keep up either, because I only do like 3 million damage. It's kind of sad. Um, and also, also I don't want to dish my guildies, you know. Although we, we, we're we not really a guild, like we just, we just all happen to be in the same guild. We, like we never talk to each other. The, the clan channel is like we never talk to each other on the clan channel. Like not on, not in game, not on Discord. Like it's just never used. Like we, a lot of times we just have like six, seven people like spamming fights on the on the boss. Like zero coordination. Um, but I think we still do pretty well. So yeah, I think that's just some of the two two things I I really really do um, want to work on in the future. I think Jin will be a little bit faster because I can. If I farm like Star Sanctuary like just non-stop, like I get 150 sigils every single week. I can get like a gen every week, which which should be pretty good. Or at least one every um Actually one every week should should be doable. Yeah, if I have like 150 sigils, get one gen every single week. Or maybe two gens. Or like if I can get um 200 sigils, I can get I can definitely get one every single week. Like consistently get one gin every single week, and that would take 16 weeks. So that's actually pretty long. But I already have I already have three gins, so I only need like three more months in order to do that. Damn, that that, that is so rough. Um, maybe if I get impatient, I'll gleam them. But it it, it kind of seems like a waste. It won't be a waste if I can just use them to like farm even faster. So might be something worth consider like I, I could consider doing um, in the near future but yeah that that is pretty much it so yeah that's just me um, that's just what I'm what I've been working on currently and I'm just farming sliming you know doing the same thing as, as I've, I've been doing before and hopefully by you know by the time I summon four Siegfrieds I'll have like at least one fire and then I can get a lot of sigils as well. And then probably by that time I might already have an evil three fire gen. So I can just like use both of them. And then I and then hopefully I have enough siphon gems for like the both of them. And then I can just like be farming like mad, you know, like like crazy. Um But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now the other thing I kinda wanted to talk about is a, in in regard to like fusion. I think it's really not worth it for me to do fusion anymore. 
because of like how I basically already have like an Evil 3, um, Light Vic, Dark Vic, I have almost enough to make another Evil 3 Light Vic, but I've been saving the materials depending on which one I want to raise. Because I can, I have like multiple Light Vicks with different gem slots, so I can like Evil 3 another Light Vic. But I've been thinking that, you know, it's not really worth the gold for me to do these fusions because of how expensive this actually is. It's like 300,000 gold, and then if I like ever need to convert this, it's like 50k gold. And then I, I need to like Evil 2 them, which also costs a lot of gold. And since I can't Evil 3 them, I, I don't really get that much in return for Astro Gems. So I think I might actually, you know, for this month, I might actually like. With like leftover cocos and stuff, I I might actually start giving up on the fusion. Like I'll I'll make enough um, Vix to probably get another Vic to Evil Three, and then I'm gonna stop doing the fusions. Like it's really not worth 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 my gold to do those fusions anymore. So you're probably you guys will probably see me doing um, a lot more rebirths later in the later in this month um, once the new event comes out. Now that's pretty much it for this video. Um, there's gonna be, there probably will be another video today if the update hits. I'll make a video once the update comes out, talking about the Gemini's and their their skills, their design. We'll just be taking a look at the monsters um, once they actually do come out in the game. But anyways, um, that is pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.